this is Aaron from the American Scout Channel. Today I'm going to show you my new toy. This is the Benjamin Discovery 22 caliber pellet rifle. Pre-charged pneumatic, meaning that you have to fill the tube with air and to get your shots. Um, you can fill it uh, to 2,000 pounds, give you about 20 shots. Um, I'm going to do a video um, on some information on how many pumps does it take to fill it, um, how many shots can you really get out of it, and uh, we'll go from there. So, here we go. All right, so what I've got here, this is the Benjamin air pump. This is a high pressure pump. It's not a bicycle pump. Though it looks like one, it puts out high pressure, meaning, uh, you know, if you fill a tire, um, a standard vehicle tire spills like 35 uh, PSI, the tube on the Benjamin is 2,000, so it's a lot of pressure. So uh, this is going to pump it up, but I want to show you how many pumps. We're going to see how many pumps it takes to get it pumped up. Uh, let me come closer here. So right here you'll see the gauge. It'll show you the gauge of how much pressure is being pumped in. Okay, um, Here's where you hook up to the front of the gun. Right here we have the gauge that tells you how full you are. Let's get the glare off of there. So you see the gauge there. Um, you can see right here, let me pop this cap off, and that's where you stick the uh, nozzle onto the tip here. So, first thing we do, we're going to stick this right in here. pump. I'll start the count off. You can make good footing here. Oh, ten. Okay. Stop right here real quick. You notice I'm going really slow? You're supposed to wait one second in between the pump movements um, because it takes time for the air to travel from the pump through the hose into the tube on the gun. 30. Let's see. Okay, we're only sitting at like 200 and some odd pounds, so here we go. 31. 60. Okay, we're sitting about uh, 900 PSI right now. 61. 80. Okay, just sitting a little over a thousand now. Let's see where we're at in the gun. Okay, same thing in the gun, just a little over a thousand. Eighty-one. Hundred. One. Let's see where we're at there. Okay, we're about fifteen. Check the gun too. Yeah, about 15. So 101. 102. 32. Okay. I think that's about it. 132 approximate pump pumps. Now, I did get somewhere around 100 before. Um, my reasoning is because when you pull up, you gotta let the air pressure build up inside the pump. I don't think I'm doing that, but for 130 pumps, they're not hard. They're pretty simple. So, uh, you know, for 20 shots is what I was getting before. You know, is what it is. But heck, it's still a lot of fun. And since people can't find 22 very good out there right now, it's a good option to go with. So next thing you do is you got a bleeder on the bottom, underneath the. Uh, um, gauge under here. You've got to release that because if you don't, you'll hurt yourself probably when you pull the chuck out. So, okay, so that's done. I always turn back up and tighten my bleeder valve back up. And now we're ready to go have fun. 
so now what we're going to do, we're going to see how many shots I really can get out of this from the 2000 fill. Um, I'm going to be shooting regular Crossman pellets, nothing extravagant. Um, I think I was about 20 shots. I could be very wrong. So we're going to find out. Here we go. Shot number one. Shot number two. Shot number three. Number four. Shot number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, after 14 shots, we're at 1,000 PSI in the gun. So, we're going to see how much it takes from, from 1,000 to zero. So, here we go. 15. 16. 17. Okay, 17, you can start hearing the error is not giving it enough. It's, it's still shooting, but it's not enough to keep the, the trajectory straight. So, I think we're 17 is about where you want to be but we're still have enough air to shoot so 18 19 20 and now we're into the red so we won't shoot anymore so it's 20 shots I'm into the red I pass the yellow I'll show you right here let me flip that around real quick I'm gonna show you right here so you see the gauge is in the yellow. We we'll pass the yellow into the red. So now I'm going to fire off. See, let's fire off how much more it's going to take before there is a zero error. So here would be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Wow. 33 shots will extinguish all the air out of the tube. So, it's pretty good.